my channel today and we are doing a brand new Sims 2 industrial theme apartment here in my Sims 2 save file, more specifically downtown in my save file. And to give you all context about this like whole build is the whole reason that the Sims team announced their brand new industrial loft kit for the Sims 4. And it just got released yesterday. And I knew for a fact that I was going to build something industrial theme in the Sims 2 already for my save. But the Sims team was like, we're getting a new kit for The Sims 4, so I thought, why not build something in The Sims 2 where my true love lies? Like, I am a diehard Sims 2 fan, you have no idea. I've made short films, I made so many speed builds, creative Sims, let's plays. I am a fanatic, a freak fanatic for The Sims 2. Like, the backstories, the, the lore, the goth family, the broke family, the pleasant family, like, all those families in The Sims 2, I love with every fiber of my being. So... I knew for a fact I wanted to build something very old and run down, but still kind of well upkept, but still in the heart of the city that didn't really have the potential of being a really good looking apartment for people to move in. Now, I had inspiration from this TV show on Freeform called Good Trouble, and it's kind of a spinoff series of The Fosters, if you don't know The Fosters TV show. It's so good. I love The Fosters and I love Good Trouble, but I'm a little bit behind just because I haven't watched it in a long time, but I got to thinking that Callie and Mariana, they live in this like apartment building that has like a shared kitchen and a shared bathroom in a whole like giant building where everyone just lives in that one building, shared bathroom, shared kitchen. And I thought it was literally disgusting. And I was like, hmm, inspiration for a Sims 2 build, might I add? So I decided to actually have a kitchen downstairs in the first floor where everyone actually shares the kitchen but everyone has their own individual bathroom because I thought to myself, no Sim in their right mind would ever have a shared bathroom, let alone my Sims would not have a shared bathroom whatsoever because that's just crazy and disgusting and kind of nasty because you got those rando Sims hopping here and there, but like, hey, can I use your bathroom? You got video games on your phone? It's, it's like a weird scenario with the Sims too. So I gave everyone their own individual, individual bathrooms, but I also gave them mini fridges in their apartment units, just because if they wanna grab a quick snack or if they're writing a book or whatever, they have that access. But if they wanna cook macaroni and cheese or whatever on the stove, they can go downstairs and that. And the whole purpose of this apartment is that even though it's in the heart of the city, there's only technically three units in this building. So there's one downstairs and there's two upstairs. One, the one downstairs is more like an artsy fartsy type of apartment unit where an artist actually lives there. They paint for a living. They have a cat. So they have cat trees, cat um, litter boxes. They have cat related things in there. And then upstairs, there is a one is like more prestige that might be a little bit more expensive on like the rent side because on the second floor in the far back, it's more like high class great paintings, more extensive furniture, and they're more of like an artiste type of um, what's like high class, they love expensive things. And then one on the side is like very small and very cramped and just not really um, good to stay in because it's the smallest apartment in this building. And you would think I would put the smallest apartment at the bottom, but no, I wasn't going to do that. I thought second floor is cheapest. It's a little bit more run down, but it's still well upkept. It just has like some iffiness around there and a part of me was thinking of actually putting vines on the wall everywhere to make it look a little bit more overgrown like it's been there for a very long time the the lawn hasn't been well kept that's why there's literally no landscaping of any kind besides like three or four trees on this lot because i thought it needed some greenery at least but you know the landscaping part is just not there it's non-existent you just just don't don't look at it it's not there you don't need it <laughs> Who needs plants when you have the outside, right? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but also the other idea, I thought if it was going to be in the heart of the city and it was going to be like more of a rundown building, I thought to myself, even though it's old, I thought, why not add some modern type industrial windows from apartment life, but also add in like these type of old stone windows that have been here since the building was ever built and then they kind of installed these like these like windows here so it's like a lot of like mismatched windows here which i think makes the building very unique and i also added in a bunch of like old pipes and air ducts or like ac vent things around the building where if you wanted like air conditioning there were vents that had like old rust and tape on them like they were just not well up kept 
So I really made sure this was like a very old, old building. And I know that with the industrial loft kit for The Sims 4, we're getting like air ducts and like pipes. And I was like, wait, I wonder what swatches are gonna come with that, like that, that pipe and also that vent. If it's gonna be tape on there, was it gonna be rusted? Like, I wanna know all these things. And I'm just like very, very excited about like industrial things. So I wanna definitely make an industrial loft in The Sims 4, but I also wanna make an industrial loft for rent in The Sims 2. And I'm thinking if, if I wanna either put it downtown, which I think I might actually do, or put it in my main hub, because downtown came with The Sims 2 nightlife, and if you don't have the nightlife, then you don't have downtown and you won't get this building. However, if you do want it, you can download it. I'll link it down below in the description to Sim File Share, where I upload all of my Sims 2 and Sims 3 builds all the time. And it's got me thinking also, I want to go to um, Bridgeport in the Sims 3 and build an industrial loft for no reason, because I kind of want to. So I might actually do that next time, but... I am pre-recording a bunch of videos in advance because I'm going away on vacation to see family. So I've been like ramping up like the talking a lot and showing my face in videos a lot so you don't miss me as much. Cause if you don't know, I live stream on Twitch every single day except on Sundays now. I've intertwined or not intertwined. I've incorporated um, Wednesdays, Wednesday morning streams in my schedule now. So I stream every single day except Sundays but like Wednesdays are at 10 a.m. and the other days are at 6 p.m. CT. So it's like one in the morning, one at night. It's kind of cool, kind of funky, kind of fresh. But, you know, you do you. If you want to catch any of my streams, I will link my Twitch channel down below, which is twitch.tv forward slash spring sims. But by the time you see this video, I won't be live at the time that you see this video anyway, because I'm on vacation. So I won't return until next Tuesday, which is technically August. 30th I'm pretty sure 31st I don't know either way it's probably the 30th or the 31st when I go back to streaming but I don't know I feel so excited about all apartment things because if you haven't heard I'm gonna be moving to an apartment very soon on the 17th of September and I'm so excited about this because I've been looking at magazines and articles and videos on YouTube about like DIY do it yourself like home renter, renter friendly stuff a lot. And also looking on Pinterest to make a Pinterest board for my new vlog video I wanna make. I have been so obsessed with this lately that I just wanna make apartments now. And I just, that's all I wanna do. No more houses, just apartments. And that's, that's my life. Apartments are me, apartments are what I do. So I think next time for our next video that you'll probably see, probably won't see, I don't know. I'm thinking of doing a either a Sims 2 apartment or a Sims 4 or a Sims 3 apartment. I don't know. But now it also got me thinking for industrial stuff. Why do I want to build an industrial theme house in The Sims 1? Because I have The Sims 1 and it runs 1080p, like perfectly fine with no issues. And I'm like, why do I want to boot up The Sims 1 for some random reason and build something industrial? Which I just might do it. And I don't know if I should, but I think I might. You'll probably see the video when I make it. I'm going to make it tonight, actually. I'm going to make a little speed build and post it. I don't know why, but I kind of do. Because Sims 1 is notorious of being so nostalgic and so industrial. Because all the objects that are in that pack or in that in that game is so crazy looking. That it can, it can fit the aesthetic. So I might just actually do it. Best believe it. But I knew, I knew for a fact that when building this, like, industrial, like, rundown apartment building i wanted to add like personality to it so i added in like a bunch of vending machines and also adding in uh a fixer upper car that were yeah i guess it's called a fixer upper car that car in the front yard of the building one of your sims could either fix it up or just like sell it or whatever if, if they want to do that they can so i added in the front yard but i also added in like some kid related things like a jungle gym but also a swing set and by all means, I don't know if you'll have a kid live in this an apartment building, but you know, they can. I mean, each unit has their own Murphy bed, actually. So technically, six Sims could live in this giant apartment. There's really technically no room for an expansion, I would think. So there's no way um, to expand this lot. It's on the smallest lot you could think of, and it's just too small. So personally... Downstairs, the room that I'm doing right now, I don't think your Sims can scoot. I could be wrong. Either way, 
one sim, one cat in this unit, and then upstairs, I think no sim or one sim or two sims could sleep up there. But the one in like the far back with the more high prestige, like high class furniture, that can fit technically two sims, maybe a child in there. If you wanted to fit some kids in there, I don't know if you can, but you can try. Feel free. And I'm definitely very happy on like the execution because I didn't want to make it too overly cluttered. Even though I could have done that, I didn't want to risk of having my game to be like so weird looking. I want to keep it very simple, but yet still have a sense of style. And kind of going back to the whole idea of Callie and Mariana Foster, like where they live in the city, I think in San Francisco or Sacramento, I forget which like area of California they live in, but they live in this building and it was like, wait, this is so cool. Cause they're like, it's an old building in like the heart of like California somewhere in San Francisco, Sacramento, whatever, or Los Angeles, actually probably not Los Angeles, probably Sacramento or San Francisco. Either way, it's an old building with old rooms, not well cup stuff, like heater vents, there's like pipes everywhere. There's also vents on the ceiling that are old and rusted with tape everywhere. It just seemed very fitting to like fit that vibe. And I don't know if I'll make any Sims who will probably live in this apartment unit. I'm thinking of probably adding in maybe possibly one Sim family, like a family of two, one adult and one child, like a single parent type of household living in the, like the far back of this apartment building where all the white bricks are. That's like the more like clean, cool cut stuff. And, you know, there are some times where tenants tend to break the rules of everything in apartments and paint their walls because they don't care and they don't care about the consequences. And granted, it made the apartment building look more better on the inside for the second floor, and the far back. The other ones just look ugly and nasty. But you know what it is. Tenants, they got lives, they got things they do, but it's just not the best. Now, this last room, I was pretty happy with it because... It had white brick. It was still fitting the industrial vibe. I definitely utilized a bunch of the Sims 2 Apartment Life expansion pack because that was like the whole concept of why I made this video. Industrial, suburban, or well, industrial apartment living, not suburban. There's no way. And I also added in security, um, like security alarms in every apartment unit because I think that if we're gonna walk into this area, you can't really, you can break in, but it's like if you get robbed in any of the apartment units, you basically have alarms in every unit. One downstairs, one upstairs, and the other one in the other one. So technically the robber could take the stuff in the foyer and also the kitchen or the outside, but not the units unless they wanna get arrested and, and, and they don't wanna do that. So no, but I think definitely at the end of the day, The Sims 2 will always and forever be superior. Sims 4 is great, but Sims 2 is where it's at. And I think I should probably post more Sims 2 videos in this channel because apparently you all seem to like them and I love recording them. And I'm thinking of doing another current household update video of either my Pleasant View save or my Strange Town save because I do like a rotational gameplay type of thing in those save files a lot. And I think I might just do that at some point, but. We'll just have to wait and see. And it got to the point when I got to the end of this video or like my my building that I realized that um I only added a bathroom downstairs and no other like unit had their own bathroom. So I had to go back into this like build when I had saved and closed the game. It was I saved the build for like ready for download. And I realized, wait, there's no bathrooms in any of the units besides the one in the first floor. So how are people going to go to the bathroom? Breaking downstairs, probably? No. So I had to figure out how I was going to make everything work. But this last unit right here was the most difficult because the unit was already so small that I could not fit literally anything in here. So I tried my best to use the, the stand-in shower, like the one that doesn't have any curtains or anything around it, in this one. And just did it that way and it seemed to work fine. So hopefully your Sims can use the shower, go to the bathroom, do what they got to do and get out and live their day. But overall, that is technically the entire like build itself. But let's go ahead and hop into the real time tour. So when building this apartment building, I had way too much fun when doing this because I had an idea. I put it to action and it made it happen. And it was the most fun I had in The Sims 2 was building some of the industrial rundown in downtown, especially because I don't go down here a lot but having the fact that I could build downtown and do something like this 
was the best time I ever had. And I kind of want to do it again in the future. But overall, the whole concept of the entire building is so like run down, share kitchen, three units. It's very cheap. It's very affordable. So you're supposed to be able to like live here with no issues. with no problem whatsoever. Families could live here. Single sim could live here. College student could live here. Do what you got to do to live the vibe you want to live. Now, the outside was something that I was struggling with because I didn't really technically know what I wanted per se, like the concept I knew, but I didn't know how to want to execute it very well. So even though there weren't really technically kids in mind, I added in like kid related things like the jungle gym and also the swing set and also a bunch of like chairs because there's a grill right here. But also I added in the fixed wrapper car and like some old timey like rustic things near the trash can because, you know, homeless people or homeless sims or just people who have junk pile it next to the trash can for the sake of I don't want it anymore so they put it here just for whatever now I had the idea of also including cats in here but I also thought to myself you know there's always like random stray cats roaming around in the sims 2 on the sidewalk all the time in the city but also like in regular towns that I thought to myself why not provide an empty cat bed or a pet bed outside near the building on the side of the building just so they have somewhere to sleep and rest their head for a couple of days or maybe a couple hours who really knows but pets do roam around here sometimes so they have somewhere to sleep which is very nice and i want to make sure all the pets in the world have somewhere place to live for a couple of hours or a couple of days or you know just to hang out for a little bit and meet some new people along the way now for the inside i knew i want to add a bunch of all these like air vents everywhere because they have like duct tape on them and they're old and rustic and like so grungy looking like i just love that stuff so much so i knew i wanted to add them all around the building and i made sure that they were all still connected like on the wall but also along within the units as well like if there was going to be one up here I made sure there was like an air vent like below it so it connects technically in a way um which made sense so i did it that way and it, it worked should so it should work with like the air circulating throughout the entire building because old buildings technically do have very like bad like air like flow and like plumbing and it's just disgusting so i made sure i added like old rustic like vents and pipes everywhere so you have like the true value of rundown buildings in the sims 2. Now, since I had the inspiration from Good Trouble, the TV show with Callie and Mariana where they live in the city, either in San Francisco or Sacramento, I do not know, but they have like a shared kitchen, but also a shared bathroom. There was no way in the world I was going to add a shared bathroom because that's just disgusting. But I did add in a shared, a shared kitchen. So if your sins want to come down here and make some macaroni and cheese, cup of noodles, ramen, whatever it might be, they can do it down here. But I also provided them um, their own mini fridge in each unit, but all along with a microwave, just in case they want to take back their food, heat it up, do what they got to do. So you have all the things you really need. But yeah, that's the shared kitchen. And then this is the first unit I made and I involved a Murphy bed that you can fold up or fold down. You can also watch TV if you want to. I also added in a cat tree, a cat bowl, and also a cat like pet bed but also a workout machine too because i thought you know hey an artist lives here in this unit they have a cat named salem or whoever naming their cat but they can live here with their cat and just vibe with the art if they, however they want to but they also love old vinyl records so they have this like vinyl type of like stereo machine with all their vinyls on the side and then they have their very small bathroom which let me just tell you this bathroom is small and i looked at the shower and i thought to myself why don't we have these in the sims 4 and i'm like this is a cool shower it's small it's quaint it's ugly good ugly but it's like my type of ugly that i want in an old rundown apartment building you know those type of things so that's what i did i didn't want to add any tiles because i knew that it was downtown in the city and it was just old and decrepit so there's no tile all concrete flooring everywhere in this entire Building, which is kind of makes sense and then i added in a desk and also a nice little computer that they bought themselves and then upstairs more vents with duct tape on them because that's the only way they can keep them together and then i also added in a trash chute one upstairs and also two downstairs because more people come in more trash so trash chutes everywhere and then also some seating and then this is like the one apartment unit i was having the most trouble with because it's the smallest unit that you can probably afford in the sims in this apartment building and it's made for a single sim mainly because there's no way you can fit another sim because if we have bunk beds it would work but 
we don't have bunk beds in The Sims 2, sadly. But I added in a Murphy bed and then also an end table. And I don't know necessarily if your Sims could probably watch TV, but I know they can relax on the bed and maybe watch TV. So they added a TV above the desk with the computer and also the alarm clock. And of course, you gotta add, add in a little hamster. So I added in a little hamster cage for them. And then a walk-in closet, some cereals, a heater, and the vent, and then also their small, small bathroom, which I don't know if it'll be functional or not, but it should be, because your Sims should be able to walk on this and go over here and go to the bathroom. So they should be perfectly fine. And now out here, I see this all the time in apartment buildings where I live, where they have a little balcony, but there's like a door on the side for like extra storage. And I wanted to add storage over here, but I realized at the end, there was no bathroom, so I took out that door, replaced it with a bathroom, and it made it work, but you can have your Sims stand out here if you want to and just chill, like usually Sims do. Now, over here, this one was probably the most fun I had with this building or this unit because I would consider this as the biggest one because it looks more nice and clean and pristine with hardwood flooring, white brick walls, security system, high-tech computer with stuff on the side, a high prestige poster, bookshelves, shelves on the here, but also just like, it just makes it look so fancy and they have a sectional couch and they have their own like balcony. They can sit out here and also have their own storage too. So if your Sims have extra stuff, you can store it in here. They can sit out here, read a book, watch their little stuff on their phone, MP3 player, do what they gotta do. But they have their own balcony, which is very nice. And this is the only unit that has their own balcony. So it's kind of like a little bit more uh, like on the expensive side, but definitely this one is like more and more of like my like likeness of what I did with this apartment unit. And then we have the air ducts and then upstairs on the up upstairs, technically, your Sims can actually come out here from the back way, go all the way up the stairs and gonna come to like the rooftop and I've been doing this a lot in a lot of my apartment like buildings to add a rooftop like garden or rooftop whatever and add seating and also a bubble blower because I don't think technically your Sims 2 have garden plots besides going to build mode and going to the garden plots like right here. If you wanted to add this stuff in here, you couldn't because they're not technically on the ground. So your Sims could do whatever they want. I mean, you can add in composting if that works, but you don't technically have to, but you can always just add all this extra stuff up here for like a nice little quaint little area, hangout area if you so please. So the location I put my apartment unit downtown in my save file is more so in the far end near like these buildings, but also near the bridge because usually near a bridge, there's the most noise and it's just not really the most attractable for people to move into. But if you're on a budget and you need to move in somewhere really fast, just move here. And it's actually very affordable because I thought it was gonna be more expensive, like near the 1000 simoleon range. But in reality, it's like near like, the 630 near 800 simoleons per sim week type of range. So if your sims are looking for somewhere to live, they can live here. It's very cheap, it's affordable, it's run down, but it is what it is and you gotta live with it. But either way, I'm gonna actually wrap up this video right here. I do hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below as always of what you thought of this build, but also what's your favorite thing about The Sims 2 and why. But either way, I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.